I don't look at this particular photograph, right? <laughs> it reminds me of one of my low lights, my lowest lights doing filmmaking, shooting a music video. And this story, trust me, I went through a lot. And if you are able to come out of what I actually went through after the story I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you can withstand almost anything and everything. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do well to do that. And if you're interested in photography, that's even a much more reason to subscribe. And turn on the post notification button so that anytime I upload a new video with relations to photography and filmmaking, you'll be the first to be notified. So let's get on with the video and talk about this particular story and this, this event that actually happened. So it was a music video and I had gone through the whole week preparing for everything the artists their managements were all in the know of all the plans and everything and i was fortunate enough to have my crew with a vehicle so we have this mini bus that we normally use in pulling our lighting bringing them all to the set and the models also joined us and they did their makeup so after everything was set up and was shooting we had to film really fast because it is start very early the concept of this music video was to be in a party mood or should i say yeah, let's say an outdoor party let me put it that way and these models were enjoying themselves with the artist and everybody that was present for that concept so when we we're done with the outdoor scenes in fact we should most for the most part outdoor scenes and we had to move under a canopy for the last session which that was where everything started happening. <laughs> but before then, we shot some also, as you can see, some of these B-rolls uh, from the music video. So um, we shot with some lighting, some colored lights and all that. So as I was filming everything on my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, coupled with my Zion Crane 3S, um, I was enjoying the whole process. But because it was quite heavy, I was going through a lot of audio, but I had to finish this music video as I could on that particular day so when we're done with all the outdoor scenes we moved under the canopy and that's where it all started all right most of the models were frustrated because we had a lot of issues even there was the snake that was taunting us during the whole shoot we had to make sure that the snake was out of our space we had to guarantee that before we moved in and we didn't want the models to be aware of it because we didn't want them to feel scared or frightened or you know in any way um you know have cold feet and not shoot the music video to the end so we didn't inform them but we made sure that we cleared everything but as we were in the process of clearing out all the issues and bringing in the lights our generator was giving us problems because there wasn't any power source or output source on the walls of the building that was around us we had to use solely a generator to power all our lighting and the generator was going through a lot because all the lights that we had connected to them were pulling a lot of power and we had backup fuel then a gallon in the vehicle waiting so anytime it ran out we had to pour it and you know replenish the tank so we kept on using the generator for a very long time and it even overheated so we know we had to pause at some particular times to make sure that it cools off and in the process we were planning what to do next and in all we're wasting a lot of time because under normal circumstances if we had all our things set and nothing of a problem was happening we could have done this in a couple of hours and we'll be out of there but because we had the generator heating and you know waiting for it to cool down it was dragging a lot of times all right so when the models were running out of patience we had to pull everything into the last space where we we're going to shoot and i realized that the leader was really really destroyed because her models were giving her a lot of problems she was going through it and instead of her to actually confront me and tell me about what the problem was she flared up because it was getting over her and she couldn't take it anymore and um, of course as human as i am i expected her to understand the whole thing that it wasn't our fault and i even explained to them that we even had an issue with snakes and all that so we didn't want them to be informed and you know get them having cold feet and you know causing a lot of issues within them so we didn't keep them informed and we had to take care of that and that's what also dragged in addition to the fact that we had to pull all our equipment back into that space and we had a couple of guys around but you know when you have a lot of wires a lot of things to take care of many hands are not enough most of the time so uh we meant that i needed even much more hands but uh i mean we could do it anyway so 
when i calm them down a little while i put my camera down set it down on the gimbal and someone knocked it over and hit the ground and i was so furious because that was the very first time my gimbal which i had bought very new and that i think that was even the very first music video i shot with it and someone knocked it over hit the ground and you know the feeling of having your very fresh out of the box equipment hitting the ground or something happening to it you know that kind of feeling so i was totally pissed at the person who did that and you know it was all because of all the problems that were coming from all different angles and the management had to make sure that because i was the director I had to make sure that everything was cool and these are some of the things that most of creatives are not prepared to go into but they because of the love for the money that comes out of the work they just want to jump into it but a lot of things goes into it which really revolves around patience because you're working with people for the most part so you have to be very patient because you don't know how people are going to react to some things here and there and that was my situation <laughs> so i did my best to keep my cool and uh, to get everyone on the same page and we finished the shoot all right so happily we're done not necessarily happily i couldn't uh say that for everybody but because we were done we had to make sure that everyone was out of the place and that place wasn't actually an a residential area it was a place where they grew crops it was for a crop research institute so um this place was very dark there were no lights around and all the lights that we had was the lights we shot the music video with so that's why we had set up and if we're going to turn them all off to put them all in the vehicle it was going to be very dark so we waited for everyone to be taken home the artists and the management came in their vehicle so they left and it was left with me and the models and my assistants two of them all right so my assistants had to wait because i had to drop off the models i drove the vehicle that my friend gave me with the lighting equipment all put in it I moved the models to a point where they could continue their journey and I had to return. <laughs> Can you believe that around 1 a.m. that was exactly when we could drop the models off when everything was over. 1 a.m. Imagine starting around 1 p.m. in the afternoon and 1 a.m. right after midnight. 12 good hours standing on my feet holding my gimbal as heavy as the setup was i was handling this and the vehicle didn't budge it wouldn't start i don't know and i was miles away from the location where we shot because i had to drop the models and this is where the vehicle wouldn't start so i was looking for options and luckily um a, an uber driver came by and he recognized me from school okay so he offered a helping hand checked the battery and noticed that it was actually the alternator that wasn't recharging the battery because the alternator was messed up so i was in a deep fix because we had to take out the battery and try another battery on it so when i was able to find out what the problem was when i discovered the problem i had to find out way because the uber driver had to leave all right so he came actually to pick up one of the models out of the space so i was left in the middle of the road waiting for options and my guys back there remember that i left my guys back there still at the location they kept on calling me not knowing what exactly was the problem so i had to call another driver who was quite a little bit of a distance away from where i was and he came through to help me out so here i was thinking that i was going to be lucky to have just one vehicle that i had fooled for the whole shoot and i had to resort to a taxi driver which meant that i was definitely going to have to pay <laughs> so that's a taxi that you saw the crates around and this um, this um, particular concept had to have some crates set up for a party scene all right so it was just going to be a background just like you can see in the video but i didn't really execute it as i really wanted but uh, we had to quickly do this so <clears throat> this mini bus was fixed a little bit and the taxi driver left so i drove heading to the place where my guys were waiting for me at and i had one model who was still with me because i had to drop her off somewhere off where the other models were actually going to so she stayed behind and was with me the whole time so i was with the model in the vehicle and we drove to the in the direction of the guys that were waiting for me back to the location and just as i was midway in the journey the vehicle came back to a halt because the alternator wasn't working again and the battery was drained totally so i couldn't move it again i couldn't move it in any way no matter how i tried 
the vehicle wouldn't move. So I had to call the taxi driver to come back again to help me out. So he came through um, after a couple of um, minutes waiting in the dark. It wasn't safe, but I... It was in the dark, it wasn't safe, but I had to reassure the model that everything was going to be fine. Ah. Hey! Hey! Honey! Oh. Come away, Pa. Alright. Hmm. So, <laughs> it was crazy and I had to reassure the model who was still with me that the driver was going to join us in no time, in a couple of minutes, so she had to keep her cool. I kept on talking to her so that she could feel at ease. Alright, so the driver, of course, arrived and we had to find a way to go back there. And here, the driver has come the second time. <laughs> which means that I had to pay some more, of course, for transportation. So my guys were still calling me, asking if I was going to be there very soon because it was very dark over where they were. And remember, there were no lights around. All that they had were their cell phones and probably their batteries were dying. So I had to join them real quick because it was dark and it wasn't a safe place to be. After shutting the doors, rolling up the windows and making sure that anything that was valuable in the vehicle sticking out because we were running at risk of robbery because we we're going to leave the minibars behind took out the battery and put it in the taxi and headed to the location so we picked the guys up we sent them all to their homes and it was just me because we dropped off the model as well it was just me and the driver we had to come back for all the crates that we sent along and <laughs> that is how come this picture came about. I thought we were going to have to go maybe two rounds to be able to evacuate all the crates back to my home. But the taxi driver had much more ideas, more creative ways to pack everything. And I can tell that I could count as many as 100 crates, probably more than that. He stacked everything inside the vehicle and the rest that were even as equal in numbers what had moved into the vehicle have been packed into the vehicle he found a creative way to tie them all around the vehicle at the trunk <laughs> and this is the results so i was amazed i was totally tired and this man took all the responsibility and put it together i couldn't thank him enough trust me so we brought everything home i offloaded with the help of the driver of course put everything out and uh, he drove away yeah so i paid him up and um, i went to have some rest i woke up in the morning thinking about what actually happened and trust me the kind of stress that i went through i was still feeling a lot of pain in my body reminding myself of all the events that actually happened from the gimbal falling over from the vehicle not starting from the models giving me a lot of headache all these things thinking about them told me that I've actually gone through this and I don't know if it's going to get any tougher <laughs> or any more difficult. But trust me, if you are able to go through this and come out successful, trust me, you can go through about anything. You can go through about anything. And you, you, you I mean, even if it gets worse than this, you still have a way to maneuver your way and, you know, get out of situations, sticky situations like this. And this is actually my story that I want to share with you that it is not always rosy. Things can, you know, fall on you. Things can collapse, but you, it is your responsibility as a director, as the creative person behind you still put everything together and make sure that everything works in unison. Because if in the end you're unable to accomplish the task, all the investment, the time, the energy has all gone down the drain. And I don't think you want you are going to want that, all right? So, um, yeah, that's my story. If you enjoyed this and this inspired you to keep on pushing and, you know, not be dismayed by any contingencies, I'm sure that this video has been very helpful to you. If it has, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notification button, and leave a comment and let me know if you've had issues or a story like this or even worse than this. I would love to know in the comments down 
there all right so leave them there and i'm going to check it out and i'll do my best to respond to all of them i can't wait to hear your stories until the next video i'm gonna catch you later have a wonderful day see ya